on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO. No. And I'm here with the lovely, amazing, paying attention. <laughs> Miss Jamaica, what's going on, man? No, 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 Official no. Miss Jamaica. Thank you for correcting that. Man, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know Madeira Walk go on. Hey, man, what is going on? What is y'all got going? Pizzas? There's a kid that want a feature. Oh, he want to feed oh, a nigga right, around here. Okay. Thank you so much, man. See, that's when you got good security. You ain't got that bad. You just water down. <laughs> yeah, with somebody with some money, huh? Already. That's family, though. That's all. It's all good, man. Yeah. So, man, hey, Brad Winter Kane is here all the way from where? Alabama? Yeah, from Huntsville, Alabama, man. Hunts Vegas, man. Man, you one of them guys, man. I, 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 I enjoy uh, the research on you. I did look you up. Um, man, look like you done been you've been working a long time, man. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know, been in the game for a while. You know what I'm saying? Uh, started out with my boy Ox from Jamaica. Um, Ox, uh, R.I.P. Ox from the movie Belly. You know what I'm oh. saying? Started out with him. Bumped into Big Cat Records uh, when he signed Gucci Man. So actually, I was on the street team promoting. I wasn't an artist at first, so started out like that and meeting people with Gucci Man when he first did the Trap House album. So that's hard. Really was behind all that that function and Zaytoven. You know, he my brother. Gucci Man's from Birmingham. We been getting into all so, that, but yeah. hold on yeah, one he minute. Just, he just going and going nah, and going. He's not going to get it. He's trying <laughs> to take yet, off. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> not yet. That ain't half like, of the story. On, Y'all don't want to know my story. No, we better get that. We better get that. I got a movie. You see, the dope thing, you know, a lot of people love the music part of it or whatever, but for me personally, I can't speak for nobody else. I need to know you as a person. That's what I need to know before I even fall in love with any artist as a, you know, as the personality. Right. So I want to know, you know, what was it like growing up as a young kid in Alabama? In Alabama, and that's that's country, <laughs> man. And were you the only sibling? I mean, no, the only I got, child. I got some brothers. I got two brothers. No on, sisters on my mama's side, and I got a sister on my uh, on my daddy's side. But you were raised with your brothers. With my brothers, yeah. On your mama, because you were raised with your mom. Your yeah. daddy wasn't there. Nah, he was around here and there, but you know how it is. Oh, okay. You know? Why does it have to be like that? I'm tired of hearing that story. I mean, story. my daddy, I love my dad. He had to do what he had to do. He in my life now. I mean, shit, you know, some of my kids, I don't get to see. Maybe it was because my mom, maybe him and her had, you know, a situation where she kept him away from mm-hmm. him, but we good now. But as a kid, you didn't understand it because most children don't nah, understand it because parents mean, don't explain that to kids. Nah, you know, as a kid, it was like, I, I really didn't want to go around them too much anyway. Mm-hmm. It was a lot. My dad, you know, he was a gangster, so... You know what I'm saying? My granddaddy was a gangster. There was a lot going on with that, so, you know. So did you Whenever fall, you're ready for the story. So did you fall into that category? Because, you know, if it come down to the line, I know that not everybody can fall into that. Some people choose to be different. But uh-huh. sometimes you fall into that trap. I mean, shit. Look, um, look where we at today. Look what I'm doing. <laughs> what you right. think I'm doing? Half of my legs for real. I mean, I ain't trying to be violent, but I'm like Tupac. I ain't no killer, but don't push me. Already, I think that's almost everybody, though. Well, yeah. No matter who that person is. When you think about uh, yeah. black people, gangster. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Because you got when you growing up, you know you might have to struggle. You, you ain't, I know you had your lights off. You ain't had no. You looked in the Brand refrigerator. Again. You ain't had no food in there. She's from neither. Jamaica. Oh man, Kingston. Ox from Jamaica. Rocks yeah, from that's Jamaica. Why, that's why I've I been to Jamaica, off so Jamaica. I know you know what's going on. So when you, you said know? it, when you said that, I was like, well, at least he started off good. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah so man. All right, right. Teddy Brookshot. So how was your yeah. how was your trip to Jamaica? When you said you went to Jamaica, you went with him. Went with him. Yeah. So you saw the real Jamaica. Yeah, I went over there my first time going it was a uh it was like a some big gathering um concert for Sprague Ben son mm-hmm. Sprague Ben son had just got killed then mm-hmm. so I met all the Marley brothers I met uh Jill Scott she was there uh it was it was really dope I seen a lot of people out there like about about two three so thousand did he, people because when he got because Sprague Ben used to live on red um red square did he take you down to like those areas where he was from? Man, we went everywhere because, you know, I got to smoke, so I had to go everywhere trying to find the loud. Like, they smoke like regular yard weed, mm-hmm. so I'm trying to find the hydro. Mm-hmm. So I went some everywhere. I couldn't tell you every place I went. I knew I was in Kingston, you know. 
But oh, the regular man. one I went to a strip club too. in Jamaica too in Kingston. Yeah, I been. He did. <laughs> Me too. They picked a dollar up for you. Yeah, man. <laughs> man, them it go crazy, crazy in there. It go crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, it went. She took me. It man, go crazy. I, man, I, I was like, whoa. I went. I was like, damn. Yeah, it's a little more liver than what I'm normally seeing. Exactly. They went through the roof in that hole, man. Yeah, it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, nigga, for a dollar, nigga, it, it going dollar. down. Oh, uh, for a dollar, they doing it the most. They you know? doing the most, man. man but I, I respect enjoyed that, it. though. It yeah, was, me it's, too. It's all good, man. So when you think about just the music, man, like I said, you you mentioned some names early on. Big Cat, mm -hmm. uh, you was down there when Gucci Man and Big Cat fell out as well. Um. Yeah, you know it, that it was, was a long time ago. Yeah, but they, a long time ago. But they had their little run in where, yeah, where you know, you, you know, a little money situation or something with them. But I ain't never get into it. So yeah, I mean, they cool today though. That's what Gut, cool. Gutter TV said because it was it yeah, was a thing cool. where I asked him. I was like, "How did you hang around? You know, with Jeezy and Gucci?" And he was like, um, "I just mind my business." Gutter it ain't TV. my, it ain't my yeah, business. I remember him, man. Yeah, he used to be with him. I used around. to be with Gucci. I used to be, see, 211 was signed with, with uh, Jesus. So I used to be over there with both of them. So, so it was pretty cool. Mine and your business. Jesus respect and uh, Gucci respect. That's hard, real. Yeah. I, I, now I got to talk about my boy who I've been, he DM'd me a few times and, uh, you know, I ain't with him like you, but the nigga, you know, y'all had a label together or something, or y'all might still have it, you and Zay Tobin, but oh, he'll hit me back. He oh, real Zay proper, T. like, I like this uh -huh. nigga, man, but I can't. I When I first started this show, I said, I got to get you on Boss Talk because I had a dude named Flex and Fab, mm -hmm. and Flex and Fab get free beats from Zay Tobin. Just, okay. And I was like, man, you got to get that boy till he called him right here on set, nigga. The mm -hmm. nigga been cool with the show ever since, but I ain't got him yet, but you I got to get, get him. You For know? sure, yeah. Zay, he a real humble he guy, real man. That's humble, my brother. Bro. For sure, you know he gonna come on here and bless the show, man. Yeah, we got familiar territory going on. That's another side of the distribution I got. Yeah. And I just, you know, started with the TSF. I'm a big fan, too, bro. And I seen you at Just Link with Sauce Walker. Yeah, with Walker. I was actually, uh, me and him were conversing and DM a little bit. Yeah. Sauce a real one, man. Oh, he man, made me love laugh. Sauce, man. Cause he's he so tripping. Texas, man. Young Texas, yeah. too. So yeah. I just, I know that Texas feel. Man, cause Sauce of, feel, he, he's sharing the wealth, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So salute to Sauce. Man, Walker, love man. Sauce and everything that he doing over there, man. Sancho and all them. How'd you, how'd you end up even coming to that? that whole organization and be like, I'm gonna rock with these right. guys. Well, you know, I knew them from rocking with Gates with the BWA, the Bread okay, Association. Okay, okay. So I knew him and the twins and Mazi. Uh, salute uh, to the 100 gang, RP, Young Mazi, Mazi, my boy. And uh, shit, uh, Trouble did a feature with uh, Sauce Wood. Okay, so that's like, my boy. Wood. You know, he been on Boss Talk. Wood, Wood, I was like, oh, I that's know That's my nigga. So when, when he linked that in, then we ended up, I was like, okay, I'm a, I want to do a tour. I want to do a feature with him. So we linked it in to where we just linked in like brothers. He seen my leg and was like, man, look, you you know, you're a star, nigga. Come on, man. This yeah. what we finna do. So we working and moving and uh, I'm on. I'm over there with them TSF that's right hard, now. Man. Yeah, that's hard. off T and F, TSF, man. That's hard, saying? bro. That's hard yeah. because they they move like they. It, it's like a movement. He got a whole yeah. movement and everything he's been doing. It's been so solid, like with yeah. with the way he repping the whole TSF of Texas and and just basically showing the way we move down here in a new way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got a lot of different artists in Houston that been on this show, uh, Chose and B King and all them cats, but. Sauce is one of them guys, and when I guess Sauce Wood winning was on here, and he just basically was uh, telling me how he linked with him and how how much respect he had for him. So yeah. it's been a, it's been a dope overall run for Boss Talk 101, one year and something in the making. Mm -hmm. huh? Almost <laughs> two years. <laughs> Almost two years. January man. will be two years. Already, man. Already. So so you you basically meet. Uh, Gucci and them back in the day. How yeah. do you meet him though? How do you Gucci. Even Um shit, man. You know, one of my relatives was going with this guy's sister. His name Wiz. Okay, Wiz was linked in with Zay. And um we went over Zay he was in the studio, so he's like, Man, you know, I got an artist named Gucci. He's from Alabama. I want you to meet him. So he introduced me to Gucci and he was like, I'm from Bessemer, Alabama, like from Huntsville. We linked in, but I wasn't rapping at that time. Okay. So we linked in on some, you know, just me, just linking in with him. How old were you at smoking. this time? Huh? How old were you? Man, I was probably about 22, 23, okay. something like that. Okay. And 22, 23 years old, cocky as hell, but real yeah. humble, but cocky. Yeah, but cocky. Yeah, you know, yeah. Didn't listen to nobody. Thought I had my own money. <laughs> Ain't that the rap way we money think? went nothing. I thought rap money was funny. I used to laugh at rappers and shit. 
So, so th- when you was around him though, that during that time, that was before the uh, uh, that was before Walker and him. But yeah, for during, Walker. but did you even deal with him during the time he was dealing with Walker Flock? Well, when he got with Walker, that's when he had the issue with Cat, I guess. And then you know, yeah. Miss Deb came in, and Miss Deb really didn't know me like that. I linked in with him a couple of times, but it really was like he was jumping into another phase of his life. So you know, you right. had to let a nigga move on when they moving on. When they moving they on, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talk. So yeah, shout out to Goo Wop, bro. We we straight, but he had to move on and make his next journey in his life for his career. When when you think about you, you you also dealt with uh, Kevin Gates. Yeah. Like what was How was that How did you even know him Like are y'all He's not He's from uh, Baton Rouge That's why I asked you that Remember I asked you that Yeah yeah I'm like yeah. so how did you even Link with, with with Kevin Gates Well you know Gates man You know I seen him um, I think we was out at Onyx He was with Draco I think okay. he was with Draco And Mozzie or something And you know He was just like Man you look like a rapper You look like You know my brother and shit He started saying that So when we linked up, I had got a feature for somebody, one of my artists. The artist was lazy. He was like, man, you need okay. to just cut it and just start rapping yourself. So he was like, boom, we're going to do it like this. Boom. I'm like, what BWA mean? He's like, whoop, whoop. I'm like, I'm about to get it on my neck. I'm going to push it like the Sue Whoop movement. You know, I push that real, I push that line real hard so everybody know that. So when I start pushing it, the whole state of Alabama, I had California, you know, I say I got Tennessee. I got a lot of people that push behind me. So. Once that happened, he like, damn, like, man, everybody know you everywhere. Well, I'm like, yeah, so we just started pushing that. We did the video, Gage did the Why She Talking video for me, dropped that single. It was on World Star. I think it did yeah, about yeah. like 1.6 million that views on that good. thing. I like it. So yeah, salute to Gates, man. It's all love over there. But you can tell you was younger too. I was like, yeah, I was a lot younger. That nigga young. I was a lot younger then, you know. <laughs> Thank you, you know. That's hard though, like to have that in your history and to have that in your, you know, your arsenal when you look back. Yeah. That was a hard, that's a hard man, way to come in the game, man. Coming in with Gates, man. <laughs> that's hard, man. When I seen yeah. that, it was, I was like, this done deal. I got to talk to this nigga. Yeah, and, and I went and looked at a couple of your interviews and I was like, that's a real one, man. I like to link with him because I can look at the way people are, man. And I love my people, that, that without a shadow of a doubt. But just seemed like you was a genuine person just from seeing you move. So, yeah. I mean, and then Zay told me that, that nailed it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, cause I'm like, this, and for him so to icy. deal with him, it's yeah. like, I know the nigga gotta be cool. You man, know what I'm saying? Thinking about it, you know, I was just looking at when I posted my, um, my press release of uh, signing partnership with uh, TSF. So I was looking at my Instagram right before I walked in. Okay. I see Zay re- reposted that thing. So salute to Zay and for me territory. You know, we work in this summer and it's, and it's coming, it's going down. Like like for you to hit him to grow that bond enough to even say, we gonna do a movement together. That's, yeah. that's heavy, bro. Yeah. So that's a blessing too. People for don't sure. really count their blessings, man. Man, this is a blessing too. Like I told him, man, you fucking with me when nobody else wouldn't. Oh, excuse me, ain't no, no cussing on him. Go ahead, man. Oh uh, yeah, he fucking with me when nobody else wouldn't. You know, it's a lot of niggas in the industry that's really not from the streets. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's what he said. We in the streets. We mm-hmm. we taking it, going to the community, trying to make it better. That's and real. He rapping about, you know, what I'm saying, changing kids' lives and keeping them away from prison instead of. You know, the rap is, is rap. You can't change. It's going to be negative in rap. That's how it was. That's what it's meant to be is hip-hop. Yeah. But it rap, can be you know? positive in rap, Yeah, too. you can be positive. <laughs> you can have some gospel music. I, I salute to my boy D from uh, New Orleans. What's his name? Mm-hmm. D? Mm-hmm. D got positive music. Mm-hmm. D. It's hard to but find always, positive move, music right now. See how you yeah. you struggle to find right. yeah, D. Yeah. Um, I can't think of his name D though. He's from New Orleans. You know what but, I'm talking about? But you struggled. You know, the reason I say you struggled because you used to back you you had you was excited about coming and and uh what's the chance to rap and you was yeah. excited back when they was doing their thing, you know, and they still hard, don't get me wrong, but now it's kinda like where is he at? Where is this conscious rapper at? Yeah. Where is it right now? It's really, it's, it's really not a gangster. thing right now. It's yeah. really niggas uh, is is a uh, uh, drilling and drilling. All yeah. this craziness is going on with nothing else in between. Not even R and B. You niggas is gone. Like, but is that, yeah. is that this good? car running too fast? Slow down. Yeah. <laughs> but is that good or bad? I mean. <sighs> I, mean, I, I like all kind of music. So you know, some of the music coming out now is good. Like even like with the Migos, I remember when they first found them. I remember them guys. They was cool, cool guys. Like 
the Versace, Versace, Versace. See, people couldn't get the, it, you, you had to grow on it. Keep playing on the radio. Keep playing in the club. It's all about how much money you got to spend on your record. Advertisement. Mm -hmm. Man, you so right, man. Uh, but the game didn't change, man. And it didn't change not only one time. You got to understand when you were pioneering this and you've been watching it from the beginning and you old as hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I, I don't watch the, 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 when LL and them and uh -huh. all this stuff, Fat Boys and all them came on the scene and mm -hmm. then watching as a kid and then you see it grow and elevate as a teen in the 90s hit and you got the chronic and different things popping at that time and the new LL coming through. You, then you go into the phases. I'm just looking at all of these different phases. We mm -hmm. just now in a new phase. Right. It's a new. You see what I'm saying? New, even, yeah, the cat, even, even the big cat, even the big cat Gucci and them. Yeah, that was kind of That was a new. different that different element different, of it. Right. Young Jeezy was different. Different elements. Yeah. And, and, and people, but it's still our people. Yeah. But like Jay-Z say, still new. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to something because you never okay. did say how did you get into the rap like when you were young growing up is that what you wanted to do no nah, I played football in school and stuff I wanted to make it like to the NFL for real were you so good so, oh, really? yeah I was good me yeah, too I, my whole family my brothers everybody was good but uh, I don't know the rap thing came along like I said I met Ox then I met Goo Wop after that I met Gates Gates influenced me really to be picking up the mic and rapping. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Yeah, Gates, okay, Gates okay, influenced okay. me because he said, don't that, waste your money yeah. on someone else when you can spend your money on yourself. And when I started spending money on myself, I started making money out the rap. I bet you everybody that I had signed or even dealt with with music, I made more money than they than they have. So, but even, because you know a lot of times when people don't do the rap, it's because they felt like they weren't good enough. Um, they felt like they couldn't well, do I it. I don't care, you know, I'm gonna rap anyway. You ain't gotta listen to it. <laughs> I don't care how I sound, you dig? It is what it is. No, you come with, no, I think it's, when it's 100% you, you really can't care. You, hey, you gotta let it go. It's your Especially story. Especially when you get your first show money, who gonna stop you from getting some money? <laughs> you get real. your first show money, somebody wanna see you, you like, man, these people, these three, four hundred people to see me? Exactly. Mm -hmm. How did that feel for you the first time? felt amazing. Amazing, nigga. Mm -hmm. See, that, when you know? see people actually singing your song, uh -huh. word for word, uh -huh. rapping it. That's hard. That's hard. And so you, you'll be like, man, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. You know, you'll keep doing it. But you know, this industry is some kind of way somebody going to do something. Mm. They're going to do something to try to knock you. You, you mentioned stay Amigos on your toes. earlier, man. Uh -huh. and, and Amigos is, is, is it's a situation that just uh, happened where uh, my boy take off RIP. RIP. Uh, yeah, you know, um, just, you know, when you when you see things happen, and I asked this question, been asking it all day. When you see things happening like this, uh, um, late night, uh, Dolph's pass and uh, the other boys up in P P PNB P Rock. Rock. Oh, it's not them just three, but it's been so many, bro. Mm -hmm. What do, as a rapper, as an artist, even though a, a, a lot of times it ain't for you, like Takeoff, it wasn't for him or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, as allegedly. Uh, how do you, what does it put on your mind, being that you've been in the game long as you have, man? You know what I'm saying? That right there, that was, that was, that was mind blowing because, you know, like the Migos, like the black people's Beatles. They like real, real delicate to the culture. So yeah. it's like, that right there, that, that was a blow because we all was together. Uh, I've I been in Houston. I was, we was together, me, Walk, all the uh, TSF, Skipper the Flipper was at the studio. We about to record and all that Correct. shit. So they hit up, it hit us pretty hard with that one. So that's a blow. That's going to be a blow, blow, blow for, for that one. So that's just Years sad. Ago. Yeah. What? RIP. And, and the thing you, you know, you really got to think about is, man, you know, he, he definitely was the low key one of the group to me. And he also, I met him in Vegas when you was, we was in, I don't know if you was with I him. wasn't with Yes, you was. Cause I wasn't there when you met him. Okay. I might have been there, but I wasn't You was there. there. Yeah, but we, I know we, we was at the show in uh, The Magic, mm -hmm. and, and they was there. And it was him, and I don't, Offset wasn't there. That day. It was just him and his, him and his nephew or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's just crazy how you see these people. Matter of fact, that was the time when they got into it with Sean Kingston. I don't know if you remember that. At the Magic, remember. they got into oh, it. Oh yeah, I remember that. Happened. Yeah, you was that. there. I'm telling yeah, you, it was. A, they had got. They had a little mm -hmm. run in uh, over something that was said. I can just remember. I just think back. Mm 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? And we was all there, and we was all walking yeah. around talking. Soldier Boy was there that year too. Yeah, well, yeah, all of us was there. Mm. We were all just hanging out, and that's where it be a lot of times when you you know how it is when you just yeah. hanging. Out. I met Gucci there a lot. Well, not there. He never made. It. He was gambling every time. Nigga gambling, nigga. Mm. I know what that nigga. And I met that nigga about four times gambling. He was at the table. Every nigga time. gambler, dog. I'm telling you, yeah. he gonna be at that table doing it the right way, the <laughs> white way, nigga. Throwing yeah. them big red dice, nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at any rate, man, just to know these guys and see these guys and, see, and like I said, know them in a the way we do get to know them as artists and hear the music and then to see somebody taking away at age 28, that's crazy to me, that's man. That's crazy. That's crazy, crazy to me, man. My that's son, crazy. 29. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And, and it's like, damn, you know, like another one gone, man. So yeah. I don't know. Just pray for his family, all that good stuff, for man. Sure. And uh, pray to uh, that that people can 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 come to live with it because that's a part right there. Yeah. That's a whole yeah. different level yeah, of what's going that's, on. That's, that's, that's a blow, like I said, for the black culture. You know what I'm saying? That they'll take him out like that. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, um, just what is what what we got coming? You know, I'm I'm gonna ask you about the leg and the wreck. Okay, that's, that's coming because cool. I'm man, I gotta they got know about that. High, man. Shit, yeah, the leg and the wreck. You man, know what I'm saying? Painful. I, as a matter of fact, I talk about now what because it seemed like that's something that really you know that's life changing. Nah, man, for real. So you riding and having a good time. Mm-hmm. And how actually, long ago? I was on a can am. I was on a can am, and this happened August the third of last year. So last no, actually, year? yeah, yeah, last year. And you still walking on the his cane? leg? No, his Man, leg. my leg came off at the bottom below the knee. Oh, so they had I to put it back part. on. Yeah, the can am smashed it and took my leg off. So they put it back on. So that's the long healing process. Right how there. long does it? How long did they say it's gonna take? Man, that's that's some you know shit. That's on God hands and God's hands. Got to just heal. Mm. I think it's healing. I go back when I leave. I'm gonna go back to the doctor and get X rays and see what's going on. You still doing therapy? Yeah, physical therapy. Man, it's tough trying to recover and recoup. And the hardest thing is not moving quickly and learning how to move right. again. Right, I'm right. just learning how to walk again. That's you know? hard, man. That's <laughs> yeah. hard. How did it um, affect you mentally, though? You know what, man? It was messing with me hard at first, but when I got out the hospital, smoke me a blunt, I'd be straight. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, no, that's hard because you gotta understand. You gotta man. smoke. You gotta Can't smoke. take them pain pills Look at all him, the time. He agree with that. that nigga stick his head out. Smoking. <laughs> them pain pills had me waking up going crazy. Yeah, you know? yeah. They so had you had tripping just, out, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they had me tripping out too much, so I had to lay off them mm -hmm. and then just smoke a little bit. Yeah, I'm My glad. My friend said the same thing about his pain pills. The one that, um, remember he just had knee surgery? Oh, yeah, he damn sure did. Shout and out to Derek. Yeah, he yeah. said them pain pills really had him tripping. tripping. The doctors he had, had to get, take him had, off of And he's the same he like you. He had, to, yeah. he had to smoke something in order to get himself straight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man, because you know that you, them pills, they, they be sneaking up on you in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. No, nah, that's real. So yeah. let, let's get back to Alabama, man. Okay. Uh, mobile Alabama. Honeycomb brazy. Honeycomb, free honeycomb, man. It's my brother, man. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. That's down there, nigga. I'm asking questions. I'm down. Yeah. I done jumped honeycomb, back off in good, there. Good, good people, it's man. There's another you know, nigga down there, too. A Wavo, a big Wavo. It's a bunch of y'all. Uh, Yavo in Yavo, Birmingham. Yavo, that's him. Big Yavo. Now, and, Big walk dog. Big walk nigga, dog. Nigga, he from Mississippi. Yeah, yeah, but he close by, he nigga. Y'all niggas over there together. You know? Yeah, he close. Yeah, but but I want to ask you about. Uh, I really want to ask you about like dealing with uh, seeing things like niggas getting locked up. Honeycomb Brazier on the top, he riding around doing his thing. Mm -hmm. They be targeting us or what, man? Or do you think it's just we out there in the smoke? Man, we always been a target. Come on, man. You're a black man. You know you always been a target yeah, yourself. You, yeah, you might not you. have did nothing wrong never in your life, but you might have. But before you know, you're already a target. Our kids, my son, they're a target before they even reach the age to even commit a crime. Man, that's real. Um, so do you feel like, is that somebody, when he come home, you could work with him? Oh yeah, we got a song. You ain't seen the video on the song. It. It's called Smoke on the Zaytoven B. Who what, what, who said song? What? I we gotta get on that. Shit that red wrong. That's crazy. Oh, wow. How, uh, yeah, how, man. Was free he, honeycomb. How long had he been uh, doing music? When I first seen him at the projects, and it was a long song about his uncles and all mm. his cousins and everything. That whole <laughs> hard. I was like, my yeah. partner put me on it. I was like, yeah. this nigga going in, nigga. Yeah, honeycomb. He be going in. I think Honeycomb been rapping for a couple of years though. I just bumped into him um, a couple of years ago when we did that song. 
Oh, that's what, and that's how yeah, that's how yeah. you end up running yeah, into. I, linked him. I hit him up and shit. You know Alabama, what I'm, I'm thinking the niggas from Alabama. You know me, I done interviewed a lot of mm. bad news. A little soldier. Bad news is bad with a uh, soldier. He with uh, uh he do southern blues though. He be, but he rap. He, he with Sir he Charles, with Charles Jones. He been with Boosie and him too. But I gotta ask you about you and Boosie song because yeah. I seen that. Yeah, I got a song with Boosie. Yeah, so and and how that happened because that's how he made me think about Boosie because he started right, off. Right, but he from right. Alabama. Look him up. Bad news. Bad news for sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've been knowing Boosie for a while before I started rapping and shit. So he been coming to Huntsville doing shows. So I've been knowing Boosie, and he signed one of my relatives named D Rogers. So okay. we linked in like that, and I got the track in the video from Boosie called Shooters. Yeah, and how was it making that? What was the process like? Man, Joe Spike shot it. I mean, cost me a lot of money. Yeah, the process of course, was of course. money. I ain't gonna front process money. But it was it was really actually good. Boosie had just, you know, had this incident with his leg, so my was leg wasn't right, so hurt then. Long ago. Right. He was leaning on me then. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, my yeah. leg <laughs> fucked up. But yeah, it was great. It was a great experience. He um Boosie a real one. Wow, Salute that's all. That's Salute all. The whole so did y'all just y'all wasn't in the studio together? Y'all kind of just sent verses. Nah, I, I don't think we was in the studio together on that one. I, I can't remember. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's hard because at the end of the day, y'all did get the video done. Yeah, we got the video, and that's and, and how was that? Just do, Man, making a video. Dope, dope. Like I said, he came out in his electric wheelchair. You know what I'm saying? He stood up, linked on me. You know what I'm saying? Everything was one hundred. Wow, still getting money. Still getting, getting all. this bread. Still that's all. This bread, yeah. That's the one thing you got to realize, man. That sometimes when you get in this game, man, and and you know already you pushing and the money coming in and the flossing coming in, it gonna bring them. It's gonna bring haters, man. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna be mad. Nigga mad mm -hmm. because you get you got the girl <laughs> and he didn't. Yeah. And niggas that's in true. the hood, that's you true. done beat niggas out the hood. They like, why that nigga win? How come God let him win and I didn't win? True. Police officers, nigga, they, they making what you making. Why he making it? I'm being real, let's be real. I mean, you know, you got a lot of haters. You know what that you know what it is. We come from the slums, man. We come from nothing. We, but used, we take, to, used to everything. I hate it any kind of way you want to, man. We'll take a little something and make a lot too. You're right. And I think that's the part I think a lot of niggas be underestimating us on. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't never underestimate another cat because you, you never know what that nigga gonna do. Never uh, one rhyme away, nigga, one situation. One rhyme away, we finna be through the roof. So where do you want to see yourself in the next, or should I say next 2023? Where do you see yourself? What Man, do you want to accomplish? 2023, I'm about to drop these new visuals. It's gonna be TSF Business. Oh, really? um, give me some youth, some younger guys too coming up with their mind right. Put them on with some game with the rap game. Um, I got businesses I'm working on on myself. I got K&K used auto uh, sales. I got Level Up uh, South Clothing Store. You know, I'm Where are they on located? That. Uh, that's in Alabama. Okay. Because yeah. you say you're moving though, right? Hey man, moving. You got to keep everything grooving though. It's hard to run a gotta business. Try so to keep we, that check up. It's hard to run a business far yeah. away. I'm probably going, I don't know. I'm thinking about the clothes and stuff, but I'm going to keep the car light. I like the car light. Yeah, because you have reliable people. Yeah. That's good. Because you look like a businessman. Like, you wouldn't just yeah. deal with just one thing. You're going to nah. deal with a lot of different right, things. Right, right. I got that going. So I'm thinking about doing something up uh, in Houston. I don't know yet, though. Kids? Um, you have children? Yeah, I got kids. How many? I got four. Wow. Yeah. You done? Yeah. He's like, yeah. You don't sound like you're yeah, so short. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with kids. <laughs> How old are they? <laughs> uh, 12, 14, 10, and 4. What's the thing, the main thing you've learned about being a father? You know what, man? What I've been looking at myself coming up and my kids is doing what I'm doing, re the reaction of my really? kids. Yeah. Saying what I'm saying and doing what I'm doing. So I got to kind of watch what watch I say and watch what I'm say. doing. And nowadays you can't even hide it. You know how like he say, okay, I, I can't do this at home because they're watching. Right. Because of what you do and because of these phones that they have. And kids are very smart. They're mm -hmm. on YouTube. They're <laughs> on social media. Oh, man. Anything you do out there, they're going to see. And even if they don't see it, the kids at their school is going to see you and say yeah. it to them like, man, I saw your daddy on the Yeah, yeah. So, you know, my song, the one I did with Gates, my kids brought that to me. And I was like, man, who showed y'all this, man? Where y'all get this at? You know, because I'm like, man, who who showed them that? And that song, you know, it's real explicit. So, yeah, my kids, they 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 help. They on game. Do you explain it to them? Yeah, I told them it's just entertainment. 
I you try to explain anything. to them. They, I don't want to be a rapper, Dad. Got get where my chains at? Yeah. Where my Gucci belt? I want that. Yeah. I said, man, you you ten years old, bro. You, ain't you got no, young kids you rapping. Know, ten years old, getting Gucci belts and me buying Gucci shoes. Nah, I ain't doing that one. <laughs> I ain't finna spend it like that. So what's weird? They come to you and be like, "I got a song and I want to rap." No, I let them. I let them get in there and play around with the booth you and do. rapping and stuff like that. I ain't got that, but I'm not buying no no kids Gucci <laughs> and all that type of stuff. You know. Um, because early out they know that there's an image that comes with rapping mm -hmm. and that's what a lot of these kids when they watch rappers on social media they're not only watching them because and listening to them because oh I want to be like them I got to go through because I've heard people say well I got to do this and this and this because so I can get something to rap about you know what right, I mean right. so a lot of time they're doing wrong because they want to be it's like the end to a means but cause they don't want to lie on their raps they want to go and do all of this stuff so they can be a rapper. Right. But is that a right concept to be giving these kids for them to be like, okay, in order for me to be a rapper, because right now it's drill music that is in right now, I got to do this and do this and do this to be that person. Man, you know what? That's a hard question. Because you know everybody hungry, so you mm -hmm. can't really knock nobody for trying to get them some money. As long as they really ain't harming nobody. It's t television been doing that for years. American and then did that to us for years to the kids and everybody else. So it's television. Starts there. But yeah, I don't know nobody for their hustle. Get but the money. difference is, because I was telling somebody that earlier, and I said, television, that's entertainment. We can always say to our kids, well, that's fabricated. That's not real. But in the rap industry, even if some of these rappers are fake, not all of them, but some of them do perpetrate, mm -hmm. um, but they say that it is real. So you're telling your kids that everything that I'm rapping is real compared to entertainment, which is movies and stuff like that. You tell your kids, oh, that's not real. They made that up. This, 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 is this, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I So there you. is a difference. It's a difference. I, I, I agree. I, I had to break it well, down to my kids like that. Like, you know, and they be wanting to go to my videos at the time. They too, they too young to go to my videos. I got bikini girls. You see my videos. Mm -hmm, do it. Mm -hmm. While she talking. Yeah. So I'm explaining to them you're just a little too young. But you do. I do explain to my kids and my, my daughters. And i like, look, you're supposed to like boys. You're supposed to like girls. So that's my main thing. I go with that. They're going to they gonna have to get in it because it, it is what it is. Be honest, I don't agree with y'all a little bit because y'all mm -hmm. were annoying me. But your statement was right at first. Yours <laughs> sucked because you talking about the, 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 the TV show. It uh, kid, we, I, we used to call them the house because that's why my uncle hit all the Playboy magazine. <laughs> no, let yeah. me be real, yeah, man. It yeah. was just a different way we were doing it. So it ain't, it ain't nothing really like it's really the same to it's me. The same. Now, they projecting wrestling. They were acting like they were breaking niggas' necks. They were jumping off the top rope with these niggas yeah. but and some they were parents, faking but you know some people would say but they were telling you it was real right on the wrestling well, they were everybody... telling you it was real yeah <laughs> think about it they yeah. didn't want you to know it was fake you had to, they you were had to figure that out yeah, you yeah had to, and they you had still to won't admit it to this day yeah. so I can't I can't agree I think that we just quit being a cream I'm puff. talking about movies I you wasn't talking about like when it come down to we gotta be good parents and parent our kids and teach them the right way like you're saying and the other part of that is a nigga didn't teach his kids right Right. You got to have the mama and the father. It's take Ooh, two. Ooh, that's hard. I just but how many households have mothers but, and fathers? But I know, but you know, I'm just saying it takes <laughs> two because women out here, they do get jealous of rappers. I hope you, I hope you filming this shit. You I know what I'm you. saying? I, I'm like, shit, like Boots to say, hey, baby, mama, hey, come on now. It's hard. hard. It's hard on you. They think you, like this interview, this interview can get me all kind of chaos. Yeah. They can get some child support go up or yeah. whatever, however it go. But you know, women, they got their own well uh, taking action when they think they need to take but action. But I've been like married this woman for 20 years. I know damn well you're telling the truth. <laughs> you know. Nigga, you're a prophet. <laughs> no, but <laughs> you, you got to take you in a poor pit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? No, but the words that topic is concerned, I don't like women who um, who take advantage of certain things just because of the kids. I don't like women using kids as pawns. Right. I believe that men need to be fair. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? As long as the man is being fair, because I've seen some women who um, the man don't want to include child support on, and they they paying 
for the kids. Mm-hmm. They're giving them the type of money, but they still want to take these men to child support offices and stuff like that. Right. That's not fair. Not if fair. he's doing what he needs to do, taking care of home and all of that sort of stuff, um, although he's not with you, he's still taking care of them kids. And sometimes he even taking care of the child that's not even his, and you still want to do all of that. Yeah, right. but that's bull crap too. Because you get on this show and you say this all the time, and I haven't heard you say it, but women are always making a movement to do something. Why is the woman ain't making a movement to stop these women from lying on these men a lot of times and, and forcing them into child support situations when they, you know what I'm saying, when mm-hmm. they basically uh, don't agree with it. Oh, you know? man, let's I got to go. Let's Hold on, let me, together let like me tell this story. Do I got time to tell this little bitty story? Yeah, like, boy, listen, man. <laughs> All right, man. Before this, before I broke my leg right and everything, I got a kid. Okay. He's my youngest. Yes, sir. She's like, I want to put you on child support. I said, damn, yeah, okay. All right, who, who do you want? You want you want 10 G's, you want 15 G's? Yeah. I want 25. I said, listen, okay, boom, we're going to go to court, all right? We go to court, I get on child support. How about a couple months later, I've been paying child support or whatever, forgot how much it is. She going to tell me, you ain't paying nothing that little money. That's what you wanted? <laughs> I thought you wanted me on child support. Yeah, you feel me? Right. Now yeah. she mad at me because I'm on child support. Yeah, I don't get yeah. it. Yeah, but that's women, women Can though. you give me some women explanation that. for that, ma'am? As I said, some women give other women a bad rap. She's going to be on the other oh, side. Okay. I'm waiting on her no. to make the group where they can go against I each other. I don't pick up yeah. for they a woman who do it. Wrong. You know what you I'm saying? What I mean? Man, that's you crazy. don't pick up for it, but they don't make no groups to say stop doing what you're doing either. I didn't they, get you that, know, that niggas at all. That pull, crazy. Listen, niggas pull niggas up on stuff all the time, uh-huh. but a woman act like she can't pull a, another woman up on nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if we put groups together to help our young men, where's the women that putting groups together to say stop doing these men like that? Exactly. Oh, y'all don't want to hear me. There has to be a profit to well, me. You, sure me and you need a church bro. together. Cause hey, when you yeah, said child support, yeah. she put me on child support, <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, what, what is it? What, what is it? You got the money, don't you? Yeah, that ain't, ain't enough. enough. I said, I said, all right, then. Yeah, it ain't going to never be able to, you're not going to satisfy nobody Can't around satisfy. Some people, I said some people, because I was even reading um, something where 50 Cent and his ex, um, she, he was going to her and saying, because he wanted her, every man, not every man, that's a lie, but if you're doing well, you want the people around you to do well as well. So, yes, his child was grown and whatever, but he went to her, so, okay, so, you need to start a business. What you want to do with your life? And she was like, "Why? I'm good because he's taking care of her. So mm, she didn't want to do she nothing. Didn't get She's no, like, no you no made it. Business, so it's like you made it. So why I gotta yeah, do why nothing? I gotta work. Yeah, they call no. he made. It. I don't mean she made it. No, and she then at that point, work. he knew yeah. exactly where her mind was, so he stopped dealing with her. But at the same time, not every woman is like that. Right. Well, not every woman is like that. But again, I got to say, every woman that's not like that, where y'all at on stepping up saying that the other exactly. women is doing wrong? Step so you up. can change that. So you can help change the situation. And, yeah, we need a group it. put together to say stop doing different things and pull them up. You can't wait you on can the church with to me. do it. I no. am a victim. And, and I, there you go. I'm I, a victim I, of I, it. I, start I, with I, me. I was a victim. <laughs> so if you want to come together <laughs> and try to go against the situation, we'll put you in the lead. I don't know. I don't know. I might get put, my child support yeah. might go up. Oh, you say you're going through it now. You're you going through it too. Damn, you're going to get a lot of men and they're going to be supporting Okay, how about this? they going to support the hell out of you. I need to do. pay something to do I'm going to start up the my segment, a podcast, that, that's all we're going to talk about on the podcast. Okay, yeah, I'm down see. for it. I'm just going to sure let you. Make sure you hit me up once you get it going. Sure get some you, people yeah. on there. And okay. then make sure you bring other women that that has been I'm doing the, these things. Yeah. Let's put them on the exactly. side. And ask I'm going to put mine on blast. I'm going to send it to you in the DM. My name <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody going to put on blast yeah. now. You heard me? Because <laughs> this is what needs to happen. And now, if there's no action behind what people are saying, and, and these people are continuing to do it, whether woman or men, you do got men out there that don't take care of their kids. I just don't happen to be one of them, and neither does my guy breadwinner. Nah, you know what I'm nah, saying? Well, the so, money ain't the yeah, issue. so Kane, he we doing what we supposed to do. Now, we've done what you was with me. We done what we supposed to do. What about that? So but let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because what a lot of women will say, yes, you're giving money, but are you spending time? I just had to ask that okay. question. With this one, I got my other kids there in Alabama. This kid, he's in Florida. Like I said, she did that with the child support. I ain't seen the kid. Now, my leg been broke. I ain't seen him. I can't spend time with you, but I don't know where you at. 
Yeah, that's so it's not your thing. fault. Okay, that's, no, that's I'm the good victim. because I'm the victim. I can understand. I just wanted to make sure. That's the way this show goes. Go. Question: <laughs> you know Because you have some men out there who will just pay the money the and don't want to deal with a child. Some see, men are true, like that. True, well, true. this ain't so that's why I want to be. I really want to deal with my son. You know what I'm saying? He young. He know we talk on Facetime here and there when she let him. Yeah. Like so, it ain't no issue. Okay. I know she. You know, probably. Feeling some kind of way about some shit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. She still want to be with you. You think well, that's what it is? I don't know. <laughs> don't go back. Don't want you go back. <laughs> the Bible say no man grab a hold of the plow and look back without running into something. <laughs> Listen, don't go back. Okay. You know, don't look back. Look uh, up and go forward. I got you know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm, on my, I'm on my music <laughs> shit right now, so I got to yeah, get to this don't money. Get, no, don't let them knock you off your focus, man. bro. Stay focused. Yeah, Stay I ain't going to do it. Bro. They man. finna be in the DM. Again. This is my first interview in a year and a half. And they wow. and it's the hardest interview ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boss no, talk. boss talk 101 where the bosses talk, man. Yeah, man. You know, I just I appreciate you for coming, bro. Like like I said, when 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 uh my girl Eli hit me up, I was like, man, you know, um that'll be live because you say I say you from ain't that nigga from Baton Rouge or something. She said, yeah, everybody my think I'm from Baton Rouge. I said, hey, that nigga, where that nigga from? She said, that nigga. I said, he over there. I said, bring that nigga to me. You know yeah, what I'm talking about? Yeah, and she said, sure. well, he can't come. I was hurt yesterday. Was yeah. I man, like, oh, something man. came up with sauce. See, you know, when yeah. that happened and everything, the situation yeah, yeah, with, yeah. with RIP takeoff, man, we had to take a day or two of break off there. Break off, yeah. So that's what threw it off. Threw it off. Yeah, for I sure. just know that with, with you um, and, and me being one of those guys who love a story, Cause she did give me a little bit about you. And then me going and look, I said, man, th that's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. That's what Gutter TV say. He say, man, this, he say this Gutter, man. He it's say, gutter. that's why I like Boss Talk, cause it's real talk. It's gutter, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that it, it don't be no stage this. Like when you first came in, you was like, I did this, this, and I'm like, nah, let me put my wife in here, cause we for the talk. Cause <laughs> yeah, I wanna you, talk to this dude, man. She, yeah, I wanna she talk. She done broke the chops up for <laughs> out on me. <laughs> God damn it, but I'm see, sweating. Remember, she's supposed to be the uh, spokesperson for the people going against the ones who doing y'all wrong. Yeah. So, so hold her so to I'm it. I'm holding her to yeah, it. Yeah, oh, I yeah. am. I'm going yeah, to hold her to it. The wife yeah. says she's going to do it. I'm going to back her. You're going to back her. I'm, gonna, I'm a victim. Man, me and I've do. been a victim. We don't need that, victim. man. We need some, huh? uh, some, 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 yeah. You're some a victim, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, you, yeah. you got them everywhere popping out. I'm my phone now. <laughs> there it is. About so, nothing, man. Man. So, so man, you know, being that, being that, you, you know, this guy right here got songs with your favorite rapper Boosie, man. What would you like to ask my boy Bread when it came, man? How did that happen? Man, like he I said, he kind of just spoke on uh, it. Bro. I ain't got I no problem. He went in here, so okay. you know, I'm, you know, respect. Uh, he's Boosie. I've been knowing him for a while before I started rapping because he used to come to the city. So. Uh, the radio station going anybody come to the city you famous or whatever they're going to get in touch with me so um, he also signed my little first relative his name D. Rogers and he know. from Huntsville too so that's how me and Booster really linked that in Huntsville how far is that from like Atlanta Atlanta three hours three and a half how far is it from Birmingham it's like hour. Oh, so I'm right minutes. there at you. I'm yeah, gonna come see you. Hour forty five. But you, do you even be over there anymore? Yeah, I'll be over there. I'm gonna pull up. I'll pull up. Call man. me. I'm gonna give you my number, man. I'm gonna do that too. Wherever I'm at, I'll be in Tennessee, Atlanta. I'll be in Tennessee. We the same and, way. I'm, I'm going them three. I don't really go to back to uh, Baton you go to, Rouge you go or New Orleans Coast? that much. I'll be on the West Coast sometime. Not, not since right. I broke my leg though. But I know all the artists up there, man. Shout out to Two Eleven. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. Uh, R.I.P. to uh, Slim Four Hundred. Me and Slim yeah, Four Hundred did that Machiavelli song. Boy, you in there? We got a video. Working. You ain't looking at my videos, no. bro. I looked at the new, and then I seen the core Southern thing. And mm -hmm. I was like, "This is what I like. This is what I'm gonna talk about." Yeah. This. You know. But mm -hmm. I really, to be honest with you, I was let down. Okay. Mm -hmm. At first, I was told he ain't come, right. man. Right. So then you had. Then to I'm like, back what? Up a little bit. Yeah. I'm telling you, because I got excited as hell when she first told me. I feel. I went right to look at. And putting on, I said, "Why that nigga I got an interview you. anywhere? And then what is nigga be? Can he talk about?" Then I seen you on off the porch, I believe. And yeah, I was, I was like, off the porch in uh, DJ Smalls. DJ I Smalls, a, I seen both of them. Well, I, see, I didn't listen to him, but I seen him because I, I did. Didn't. Uh, I did uh, hip hop weeklies. Um, hip Hop United she, 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 she used to work uh, Right for uh, Hip Hop Weekly Now she got her own, own thing. thing It's called Hip Hop United That's hard man yeah. Like I said How important is the blogs man Like Man like, very important I, Like I was telling Trouble two times uh, The blogs is very important To get yourself out there And get you noticed mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking With the blogs right now It's very important When you're dropping something Wow Cause how you gonna market it How you gonna get it seen What did you think about Dallas Before you even came up here Do you come up here a lot 
Man, um, not really. Okay, so when you when you look at Dallas and you think about Dallas, what what comes to mind? Man, you know what Dallas? I think of the Cowboys. Bro. You a Cowboy <laughs> fan? No, nah, I'm a 49ers oh, fan. Oh damn! I'm a Why 49ers that? fan. Fuck that. <laughs> yes, you know, I, my relative uh, Rolando McClain played for the Cowboys. I was a I was really? a Dallas fan. Then then I love Emmitt Smith too. So yeah. I really can't never say I wasn't. I'm not. In you liked it at a point. Uh, yeah, they all right. They okay. They are. Cowboys like? are all right. They okay. You don't like nobody. You just nah. hate them. He like hate on anymore. anything to do with anything that's hating on. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, I told oh. you. I'm cool with the Cowboys, just they fans. Fuck all the fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we no. are cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, we don't care about losing. We still number one. <laughs> that's what he don't like. You know what I'm saying? No, it ain't that. Once you lose a game, why the hell you got to have a fight after the game? Yeah, why, some, why, some, why, why do you have to have a fight? Some like people the fans. fight. For what? They Sometimes fight after they the game. Down. That's all. They ain't got shit to do with you. But, uh, the Cowboys lost, not you. Yeah, but yeah. niggas be talking. Bah, 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 it don't yeah. matter. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to stick to stone and break your bone? No, nah, that ain't hurt. true. We know it wasn't true. We, we, we know it wasn't true. Minute, we man. know that shit ain't true. Nigga say that shit costs a lot of fights. Man, how Where many, how many things fights. you think cause fights when the nigga said, man, your mama, nigga? That caused a lot of fights. You say your mama, nigga, get mad as hell, right? Not when you were little? Nah. A stick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we put the stick on the shoulder too back in the day. Nigga, get you close. You know a nigga, you do anything to get a nigga to get it off. Try to fight, yeah. I ain't had a problem. So, man, like, um, so so you going to come back to Dallas, man? I got to come down there to get the interview. Man. I want to come down there. Cause well, I, come I, out there. It's I cool. don't, like I said, I went to Atlanta, what, three times? My brother-in-law lived. My brother lived. Okay. Living in uh, Atlanta. Yeah, so I be coming through. So I, I, I told you I did the one in Birmingham mm-hmm. for the foot soldier lady. She old. She like 70. What's her name, baby? Um, Pro, P something, ain't it? Pauletta. Pauletta. She right there by that green car. It's right mm-hmm. next door. Mm-hmm. You got the chicken place and then mm-hmm. her yeah, place. Her place right and next they, door. And they be talking about all the history. My kids grew up going through that when we go to Atlanta. Oh. And so they lo- she loved the kids. But okay. at the end of the day, uh, I want to come down there and rock with you. Come out there, man. Because I want to interview you. You give me a couple of interviews out there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, whoever it was, whatever you uh, did. Uh, yeah, who you want me to get for you? It don't matter. Well, it's gonna be a good interview, I no matter you. what. We gonna have fun some, for sure. That's a, it, they done, we done, we went down to gutter down in Little Rock. We went down to uh, New Orleans. We mm-hmm. did. Uh, you ever go to New Orleans? Yeah. You know Peaches. I, yeah, I, I interviewed been to Peaches. in Peaches. I, I interviewed. Been that's where I set up at. I've been there. Juvie got a new Juvie Tuesday. I've been telling him I'm coming out there for Juvie Tuesday. He, he, he got really a Juvie been, Tuesday. Yeah, he been trying to get me to come out there and do some recording. And shit. Well, you know, me and uh, Kale real close. Master P. That's my guy. Like we on the phone. So that's how I end up over there. Interview him and Mac and all of them. Mm-hmm. So I, I love to I love to go places and you know link up with my people, man. For sure, so I'm gonna come see you. Like man, these niggas came down here, come man. Come to Huntsville. What you gonna do? But you gonna go out? You nah, gonna stay? I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna come just gonna and get the set interview? up. Yeah, I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna uh, set up and just having a good time and talking then to y'all. Just get me to get some people to come through. Yeah, that's it. Sure. You gonna be my host? You gonna be down there with me? You money mo gonna sit back and, and talk? Good home Let's do it. And some good food. Yeah, that's it. Man, G's Country Kitchen, man. You gotta hit that G's. G's. G's G's Country Kitchen That's the soul food spot So who do I hear For the greens Oh uh, man I'm about to hear about uh, He got you the <laughs> Yeah one you put, good uh, <laughs> Top three uh, Have I ever let you down On the green When we go places Them niggas always got it Don't even worry about it You good Top three all this Of all time Dead or alive <laughs> You know Tupac number one Number one You see him right there I'll Keep him in here You got Tupac What right there. Hey, Big poster Man you know I'm gonna give it to number you two. Like this Number two My favorite new rapper I gotta get it to him I'm gonna I'm give it. It to don't you. have to be a rapper either, to. cause she she be tripping Any on that. Any genre. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. My my top. Your top three. three. Genre. Tupac. Tupac. Don't have to be a rapper. No. I like Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's, that's the one. That's, that's the one everybody uh, say. Let number me see three. Who else? Number you got to edge out everybody else for this number three. Damn. Man. I'm gonna have to say shit, man. I don't know. That's a hard one. I can say Jay Z. I can say T.I. No, you can't say no. Jeezy. No, Jeezy. One. Which one? Who? Jeezy. It's Jeezy. Yeah. I was ready, man. Be Jeezy, I've man. been giving Jeezy a tough time this week. I want to nah, like G- Jeezy. I Jeezy talk, was my man. era because nah, nah, Jeezy. Nah, nah. I made a lot of what? money listening nah. to Young what Jeezy. What you mean? You ain't doing nothing wrong. No, because well, you know some people. Somebody got shit light on it. Yeah, Blood Raw came through. He, Jody Breeze. They no telling their story. I ain't mean, nobody he, said that. I mean, everybody doing everything in the game, man. You know what I'm saying? But the nigga music was it's motivational. Hard. Yeah, it was motivational. And during the recession, yeah, Jeezy killed it. It motivated everybody. 
president do. It did. You yeah, know what I'm he saying? Help you, out. you know, he had a bad contract deal. That was on him. Salute, my nigga. That's Respect. real. Because you signed yeah, up for it, right? Work. Yeah. Or... No, this no, no, you gotta no, go no, out and listen to the story. No, 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 you gotta listen to the story. Hold up, let me get no. the, let me get some real story. Don't forget, I was around. Hold up, two eleven got pushed back. Blood Row actually was on. Oh, so where well, your you money at, nigga? <laughs> where your money at? So you got you got invested. Blood Row was USDA. He was. Blood two eleven didn't get no air, no air time. Now motherfucking see, Blood Row, where your bread at, homie? So he supposed to have that bread. Boy, where your bread? You had them big ass USDA chains on. I, I know them diamonds real. They want you to stop. You got a studio test. Oh, damn. Man, I got a studio test. Man, but go. you be, see, you just better get hey, live, right? Get live. We been going all the way up. Jesus, my nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? It's hard because I hear this. Baby, baby, salute, baby, baby Birdman man, and Slim, too. Listen, you know? man, yeah, you met Birdman? Yeah. I, I got to ask you this before you get off this panel. I got to ask you about, I think I seen you speak on, was it Young Greatness on, in the comments? Man, yeah, Young Greatness. RIP Young Greatness, dude, man. man. That was my dog. You know what? I met him at the uh, BET Experience, but we been knowing each other from Atlanta, but I kind of talked to him more at the BET Experience. Right. Got killed after that. We supposed to link up, man. Yeah, because I, I, yeah. I met Paco and Young Paco Greatness. and me talked. I was in that's New Orleans. That's a good dude. I you like remember I seen you, you see me on that interview? Mm -hmm. that, was in Lou, that was New yeah. Orleans. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I say, man, don't yeah, think I'm another just, victim of violence. Yeah. Um, senseless crazy. violence, man. But yeah. I, I just want you to know, man, there ain't no cap, man. I'm really, I'm gonna come see you. I'm gonna rock with you. Once I meet you, I'm gonna stay close to you. You a real one for even coming on my show. I ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? But you can't I ain't holler at me, bro. Everybody, somebody, nah, my but brother. Like, I mean, when I say everybody, my, I'm just somebody, a, I'm my just, brother. I'm just a nigga. Respect, I, just, man, I get respect. it, but I'm just a nigga from, you know what I'm saying? From from humble beginnings. You know what I'm saying? Dude. So I don't look at it like I'm this, that, uh, but I'm saying you didn't have to come here and you took your time out to come here and bless our show. So Dude, thank that. you so much, my guy. You All know right. what I'm saying? Respect. Hey, Man. Appreciate y'all, man. Check it, man. We love you, bro. It's been a. How, how can people get a hold of you? You can you can reach me on Instagram, K A N E B W A. Real talk, man. Real it's talk. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. What a boss's talk. Spill.